The car of the future is electric, autonomous, and offers a high level of comfort. Sounds wonderful, doesn't it? For automotive manufacturers, this idea brings with it many new, exciting tasks. Is the radiator grill as we know it now out of date? And if so, what will replace it? And another question is becoming increasingly important. What materials should be used? Environmentally friendly alternatives to conventional electroplating are required here, which are also permeable to radar waves. Thin film specialist Leonhard Kurtz develops solutions like these. Today, I am particularly looking forward to talking to three experts here in the studio about the topic of automotive exterior design. Welcome to the studio. Fabian Burkel, Project Engineer, Technology and Innovation Management at Kurtz. Dr. Marcus Kopper, Head of Advanced Technology at Schroeffer, Manufacturer of Sophisticated Plastic Components and Injection Mold Tools. And Henrik Langwald, Director of Business Development, Automotive and Electronics at Sumatomo DMAG, specializing in the production of injection molding machines for processing plastics. Kunststoffen spezialisiert. Kurz, Schoeffer and Sumatomo DMAG have pulled their expertise to advance exterior design. Welcome. Thank you for being here today. Fabian, I would like to start with a question for you. In your opinion, what are the requirements for the front area on vehicles of the future? We are seeing a major upheaval in the industry due to the trend towards e-mobility. This means that we are moving away from the original function of the component, the function of cooling the engine area, and moving towards the complete identification platform. This means that we form a complete, closed, extensive platform here, which makes an ideal identification platform. We have here a complete, geschlossene, flächige platform, die sich wunderbar anbietet als identifikationsplattform. I believe that this trend will establish itself and will continue to grow significantly. It also goes without saying that exterior component requirements such as weather resistance, UV resistance and scratch protection must continue to be fully met. Thank you. Marcus, will the topic of autonomous driving also have an impact on front panels? Yes, I'm sure it will. If you look into the modern car today, you will already find a large number of assistance systems that represent the beginnings of the autonomous vehicle. You will find radar systems, LIDAR systems, or other camera-based sensors that are designed to support us during driving and ultimately increase safety in road traffic. This means that the impacts on the front grille are already visible to enable these sensors to be installed and ultimately to make them functional. The front grille is already playing a supporting role in ensuring that the sensors function smoothly and safely. Considering that design surfaces, closed surfaces, are now also being incorporated into the front grille area, you can imagine that the sensors that have to be positioned behind them must be finely tuned with the respective designs, the imaging designs, the geometric designs, the right choice of material and, ultimately, also the electronics in order to ensure the safety of this new form of mobility. And are there other aspects that you think will play a role in the future, Henrik? How do you think things will develop? I think the front designs of cars are becoming more and more similar today. The light integration in the badges and in the components offers a great opportunity for OEMs to establish recognition value. On the other hand, components nowadays definitely must be prepared for further functions. This means that they must be radar permeable, but also heatable. This then offers the opportunity to integrate further functions for the future. With Decapor, you have developed a new technology that can be used to shape and decorate front lights. 
Fabian, can you tell me, what is special about Decopore? Injection molding components have been decorated in the process for many years. In some cases, these parts are also flooded with polyurethane downstream. With the innovative Decopore process, we have succeeded in combining these usually complex downstream steps. This means that we can combine thermoplastic injection molding, adding decorative layers and even polyurethane surface finishing in a single work step. How exactly do you ensure better adhesion? The decoration layer between the polyurethane and the thermoplastic is not just a design element. This very thin coating layer also forms an adhesion promoting effect. This is a new innovative technology from Kutz, which is an absolutely unique selling point in this market segment. Every technology poses challenges. Marcus, what was the challenge when developing this technology? As mentioned before, the exterior components on the car, including the front grille, are conventionally produced in a multi-step process. Several layers must be applied, usually in different production cells or even at different locations. We set ourselves the goal of bundling this process chain and being able to map it in a single step. As you can imagine, we had to bundle the many parameters that had to be coordinated separately from each other beforehand and then optimize them in a single process step afterwards. And of course, this was a very, very big challenge for us, which we mastered positively together with our colleagues from Kutz. As process developers and toolmakers, we naturally faced another challenge because the forming element, the injection molding tool, is increasingly becoming an integration cell, where we include different production processes in a single tool mode. We have also implemented this in Decopore technology. One thing that is guaranteed to interest customers, what advantages does this offer from the customer perspective? Of course, a different portfolio of advantages is offered here, depending on how the production process and the production environment of our customer is set up. But essentially, there are three advantages that are generally universal. Our customers will save time in production by using this technology. They will save money, and they will ultimately make an environmental contribution because the process itself is a very lean process, which is therefore resource efficient. We use less material. We may have less logistics and ultimately less waste, for example. This means that all of this will ultimately also offer benefits in terms of production. We not only have production-related advantages, but we have also sent a positive signal to the design world. With this technology, we have created a way of mapping geometries that were previously impossible to map with conventional technologies. This means that we can also translate more unusual requests from the design world into the production world and offer a solution here. Saving time, saving money, protecting the environment and design freedom. That sounds great. Regarding design, Kurtz currently has another component in development in cooperation with its partner Sumitomo Dimag, which can also be created and decorated in a single work process. Henrik, you're with Sumitomo Dimag, so I'd like to ask you, what exactly is this? This is a design batch, a car emblem for the front of the vehicle, where we have created a fluoroscopic capability to also allow design freedom. Secondly, the component is also radar capable, which ensures functional integration once again. We have presented and mapped this in a single process. And can you also explain the specifics of the manufacturing process? One special feature of the manufacturing process is that we manufacture the entire component in a compact closed production cell. This means that we have implemented the injection molding and decoration process in the tool, in the production cell. The component is then cleaned contactlessly using high-pressure technology. 
The sprues and the connections of the component are then separated using a CO2 laser system. And thus, we have a complete component from a single production cell. Getrennt und somit haben wir ein komplettes Bauteil aus einer einzigen Fertigung. And are there any noteworthy features of the machine? Besonderheiten der Maschine? The machine concept selected here is fully electric. The in-house drives developed by us enable high energy savings. Secondly, the machine is extremely precise, which is very beneficial for such sophisticated components as we can keep the scrap rate very low. Da wir dort die Ausschussrate sehr gering halten können. Fabian, are there other aspects that have a positive impact on the environmental balance when manufacturing the emblem? The emblem as we know it today is currently manufactured using PMMA or PC plastic pellets. The decorative layer is of course integrated back into the process. This means that we have actually combined two components in this part. There are initial studies from Kutz that prove that this component is fully recyclable after its life cycle. This means that the Kutz coating system has no negative properties after the recycling process. Lack system hat nach dem recycling process keinerlei negative Eigenschaften. And what about the metallization of the logo? Radar transparency has become an absolute requirement for badges or in the front panel area in general. This radar transparency cannot be achieved with normal conventional chromium metallization. Normale herkömmliche Chrommetallisierungen können diese Radartransparenz nicht ableisten. Mittlerweile hat die Kurz has now developed an indium-based metallization system. This indium-based metallization is fully radar transparent and can be used here instead. Thank you. Finally, a question for Marcus on the two technologies. Are Decapor and the IMD decorated badge already suitable for series production? The answer to that is a clear yes. Within the Quartz Group, we have made this technology ready for series production. It is process stable and is already being used in the first series projects with our customers. And the IMD emblem, let me add, is also process reliable, suitable for series production and the integration of other functions that can be economically implemented. Is serienreif und wirtschaftlich darstellbar. One thing is certain. The automotive industry is facing significant changes and major upheavals. And you can find all information on the concepts of the future on the website shown. Das finden Sie unter der eingeblendeten Website.